Here we have a 5E FHE engine out of a Toyota Paseo, and as you can see, it was in one hell of a state when it came out of that vehicle. We have measured everything, and we've thrown new bearings at it, new rings. Obviously, it's all been cleaned up and painted, so it's looking pretty good now. So here we have the cylinder head mostly disassembled, removed all the valves and whatnot. Uh, I've just left these four valves in here so I can show you what the issue with this head is and how we can improve that. But these heads are also identical to the 40 FE head, so this applies to those engines as well, and they are quite a common engine. Okay, so here is our combustion chamber with our two intake valves down the bottom and two exhaust valves at the top here. So as you can see, this intake valve seat is the point of entry at which air will enter this combustion chamber and fill the cylinder. And air is going to have to make its way out of this valve, and it's going to have to come over these casting, this ridge here. And as you further go around here, the um, restriction becomes greater because this valve gets more heavily recessed. And as you can see, air is basically going to have to do a sharp 90 degree turn and effectively fill the cylinder. So that is really the main disadvantage of having these valves recessed into the cylinder head, but we can improve upon this with a die grinder simply by rounding off these sharp edges and making it more efficient for air to come out of this valve and have to take less sharp turns, thus less turbulence. The real problem is these exhaust valves, as you can see they are so heavily shrouded and so heavily recessed in their cylinder head, so exhaust gas cannot effectively push past this point here. It can go out this exhaust port here pretty effectively but again all this space here which is taken up with aluminium could be used to flow exhaust gas out and they haven't done that so again we can clean that up with a die grinder and get rid of this uh, sharp edge here get rid of the sharp edge here and just kind of blend it in you have to be a bit careful because you don't want to remove too much material because if you do that you can actually reduce the compression ratio of the engine a little bit too much and that can actually uh affect the engine negatively. You want to make sure as well that these combustion chambers, as you do them, are pretty much all the same, so you maintain the consistent compression ratio across all four cylinders. So I'll pull these valves out, we'll give them a, um, a bit of a run over the wire wheel to clean them up, get rid of all this carbon and whatnot, and then we'll clean the cylinder head up. Our die grinder. We've got a few different attachments. We've got some sanding attachments, and then we've got these two carbide burrs. So, having a look at our cylinder head, we want to use the carbide burrs to take off the majority of the material and to start getting our shape. So, we want to try and round off these corners and get a bit more of a um, smooth flow going in and out of these valves. The other thing we want to do is we want to remove this casting flash, as you can see in here. There's some casting flash. And try and get rid of any steps. As you can see in this runner here, right down in there, there's a bit of a ridge. We'll try and smooth that out and blend it in. And that pretty much takes care of that. We also want to port match this. So we have this step here where the gasket surface is actually larger than the, um, the port diameter. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some ink on this so we know whereabouts we need to grind back to. And then we're going to take a little bit of material out so that there's no step as air flows out of this manifold and into the cylinder head.
got all the porting and polishing out of the way, we can lap in these valves. So here we've just put some uh, valve lapping compound on the sealing surface of the valve. Here we have a piece of fuel hose that's pressed over the stem of the valve. So we've put this into an electric drill and we can simply use this to lap in the valve. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're finished with the cylinder head, all we need to do is pop a head gasket on this. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We've cleaned all this up with some wax and grease remover. So it's all nice and clean, super flat, super smooth. Here we have our head gasket. Okay, here's the cylinder head installed on the engine. All we need to do now is install the head bolts, torque them down, then we can install the valve lifters and camshafts. Once we have done that, we can check the valve lash, make sure that's within spec. And then this engine's pretty much ready to drop in the car. Thanks for watching.